this is re-uploaded video, last two minutes are added to it. If you already saw it earlier, jump to this timestamp to see the new part. Hello and welcome back to my tech farm. My name is Igor and in my previous video I did a review of this uh, GTEC 3D pen. And since that uh, I gave it to my daughters and they have great fun with it and this is their first uh, 3D object they created from this. But a reason for this video is the idea which I got from uh, one of the comments. And it says that uh, basically uh, if I want to make uh, a 3D printed part stronger along the z-axis I can design a groove inside and fill that with the CD pen. And I thought this is something definitely I have to try and uh, that's the reason for this video and I hope it will be success but uh, if not at least I learned something. Uh, of course we know that a CD printed object uh, in horizontal position is always much stronger compared to the vertical one. Imagine bolts or something like that. But sometimes we don't have this option. Let's say we want to print some kind of uh, corner holder, let's say for acrylic glass or, or other extrusions to create some enclosure or something like that. In that case one of the arms will be printed along the z-axis, so we don't have a choice. And let's say that uh, exactly that uh, arm we want to make uh, stronger with this method. Now for this of course you can design those grooves uh, yourself. Uh, but even if you don't have the source uh, file, only let's say STL, which you download for the Thingiverse, in that case uh, you can uh, load that uh, file into Tinkercad. That's the simplest CAD software. It's free and it works in the browser. And there all you have, have to do is to design some kind of groove. Let's say some kind of block with 2 by 2 millimeter base or something like that. And subtract, cut that from the original uh, object. And there you have the groove and uh, you can print it and test this method. Of course at this moment I'm not sure that this will work or not so that's why I need this experiment. Uh, so I have these uh, test specimens, uh, they have this cylindrical uh, center part of diameter of 10 millimeters. And let's say this I want to make stronger, they are printed in vertical position. And I want exactly the cylindrical part to be stronger. Uh, the cylindrical part is printed with two perimeters or walls. Uh, with 20% infill. The rest is printed with 60% infill because I want to break here exactly on the cylindrical part. So uh, I have two uh, cylindrical test specimens. Then I designed uh, this. Uh, this has uh, four grooves of radius uh, 0.8 millimeter radius. That's 1.6 millimeter in diameter. And when I printed I found that these grooves are a little bit smaller, but never mind, I will test this one too. But uh, then I decided to print uh, with a little bit bigger groove. So uh, here the base of the groove is uh, one and a half by one and a half uh, square in millimeters. So this is a little bit deeper and we will see if this will have a better effect or, or, or maybe it will be weaker, we will see. I raise the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius. And I found these uh, finger protection uh, sleeves are very useful. You don't need metallic tweezers for this. Not too nice the first try. solution.
much better. With some practice it can be very set. And actually with some practice I can get a really nice looking uh, field grooves. We will see how strong they are. And before I start with the mechanical testing, I can make some first conclusions, and that is that uh, deeper grooves are much easier to fill with the 3D pen, and they look much better. I'm starting with cylindrical versions without groove. The next one is with smaller radius groove. This is the deep groove version. And without knowing the numbers, uh, this is really impressive because uh, if I look for these set specimens uh, with the cylindrical part, they broke exactly where they should on 20% infill. All other test specimens, if I used that groove and uh, CD pen to make stronger the cylindrical part, they didn't broke on 20% infill, but they broke uh, outside of that groove <laughs> where actually the 60% infill started. So this means that these test specimens are even stronger than this number shows only I couldn't measure because uh, they broke outside of this uh, cylindrical part. And as a conclusion, so maybe I can tell that this was a successful experiment. This means that yes, we can make CD printed parts stronger along the z-axis using a CD pen by designing a groove or maybe add it later in the Tinkercad and fill that line with the CD pen. And with some practicing and uh, a little bit deeper grooves, uh, you can create a very nice lines which may look like uh, they are part of the object and you will get uh, stronger parts. How much stronger? Well actually I don't know because uh, you saw in my experiments that a few seconds ago they broke outside of the cylindrical part. This means that uh, the cylindrical part was printed 20% infill plus those grooves and make they were stronger than 60% infill on the holder part of the test specimens. And this is a new part which is add to original video. I got so many comments that I had to react somehow. Uh, my original idea was that if I have the original object, let's say that cylindrical test specimen, I add a groove and reinforce it with a CD pen to see how much stronger will it be. I agree with those comments uh, because the, now we don't know separately the effect of the groove only because with adding those grooves we are raising the perimeters and with this we make theoretically the part stronger and uh, separately we don't know the effect of the CD pen. So I tested them separately uh, just in a quick test. I broke these test specimens with the dig groove version. It broke on 96 kilograms approximately. Uh, the, without the groove, that specimens went broke up approximately on 84 kilograms. The difference is uh, very similar to difference in length of the perimeters. And then separately, I tested uh, the effect of the 3D pen only. So I printed these test specimens in two parts, and I used the 3D pen only in those grooves. So nothing else will connect these uh, two parts only. Uh, the CD pen inside those grooves and it broke on approximately 50 kilograms. So effect of the CD pen is much bigger compared to those grooves but for us it is important effect of these two elements together. You can see here the results in the next uh, table. And now I consider this video finished. Uh, thank you for watching and cut!